Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this video we're going to talk about declaring global variables in TypeScript. So imagine that you have something like this within your code within index.html. Well, how are you going to handle it when you do window dot and then initial data? You will see that when we want to use that within TypeScript, that TypeScript is complaining about it. So if you're going to do it like this, and then we're going to do something like const initial data. You will see that property initial data does not exist on type window and window or worker global scope of type of global this. So that's a bit of a problem, right? So how are we going to solve that and what are the best practices to do so? So the quickest way to do so is to do something like this, right? Window as any, we just say that window is anything and then we can just do dot initial data, but then again, we lose our uh, typings, which is very pity and it's not so good to do so, right? So it's a way to do it. I think a lot of developers will do it like this because then they get rid of the error and they can go away with it. But I can't recommend to do it like this. So you will see that then initial data is also of type any because he says that initial data is any, right? So another thing that could do then is here define or initial data type, which has a user ID. And then we can do something like initial data as initial data, right? And then you'll see that our initial data is of type initial data, which is better than before already, right? So now we can very easily access uh, user ID with initial data dot user ID, right? So when we would add something like a server uh, data, and then we say that server data is um, string collection of strings, right? So then we could very easily do something like this, const server data equals initial data not server data. This is much more uh, type safe, right? Um, and, and again, we can say that this is just op optional because here we have no server data, right? So also keep in mind that um, this will not guarantee that initial data is assigned there. So the system trusts us. And so we still need to check ourselves that we set uh, the initial data in our page, right? So keep in mind that this is not a guarantee that initial data is on a window. So another way that you can do is just say that you define and declare for initial data of type initial data and then you can very easily do, do it like this. You can turn this away and just do it like this, right? And then we also have access to initial data because window is a global um, variable uh, when you type window dot initial data or just initial data that's just same right so but this we can only do when we are not in a uh, typescript module so we can only do that when we just are creating our index.ts file and not importing this uh, somewhere else but you, you see that this also works right can just do initial data window dot initial data and still uh, works our compiler doesn't complain and this is also a great thing to do it would also be a great way to do something like this uh, global 
.d.ts right and then you can just say okay I'm going to put this one right here within here now I'm going to save it and you will see that we still can use uh, use it here and we have declared our uh, global variables right here so that's also a very great approach i also can recommend to do something like that you have one file where you all uh, define your global variables and you can very easily access it here without any problem it's much better than doing uh, <laughs> it's like this and when we had something like this it, it, it's this is really a very bad approach so i cannot recommend to do it like that if a developer in your team is doing it just say to him that he needs to look to my videos and that he will learn a lot and that we are going to introduce a global d.ts file and you can manage it much much better right and you have still access to the whole window object so that's also a very big good thing right so the last approach that we're going to see is personally my favorite approach and that's the one of the uh, TypeScript, uh, the interface declaration merging of TypeScript, right so the interface declaration merging is that we have already an interface or a clause defined within uh, within TypeScript of uh, of type window, right? And what we're going to do now is just have um, here our initial data. We put it here, and then we say that it's of type initial data right and i personally also prefer to have the type decoration of of initial data right here And of course, <laughs> I made a mistake of uh, window, which is with a capital, right? So now we have no problem here. <laughs> so that's a little mistake of mine, but yeah, you will see uh, what the point is. We can very easily cre create or declare an extra definition of a window, and we just are merging it with the already existing a declaration of window within our application so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a lot about it uh, i saw you the, my preferred way to do so and to fix this uh, yeah this problem it's a very good approach to do something like global.d.ts which is just the declarations of your global variables within one big file Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to have some new insights on how to use uh, TypeScript properly. And uh, see you next time. Bye.